Hi, I'm Ray Cumby, Creative Director of Fit for Art Patterns. I would like to welcome you to Common Fitting Adjustments for the Tabula Rasa Jacket. Hi, I'm Ray Cumby, Creative Director of Fit for Art Patterns, and I am delighted to welcome you to our um, Common Fitting Adjustment videos. We're mostly going to be talking about pattern work that you can use to get the tabula rasa jacket to fit you perfectly. Uh, if you've seen us at some sewing shows, you know that we've given you a little prescription and perhaps told you to make some of these adjustments. So uh, there'll be a separate video for each adjustment. This one, we're really just going to talk about the tools that you need to do pattern work as you move forward on your tabula rasa jacket. So of course you need your pattern. You'll need to have cut out all of the pattern pieces that you need, your sleeve, your front, and you'll have been, uh, you should pick a AB or a CD front, depending on the size of your bust, your back, and then your side panel, and you have a straight side or a flared side you can choose to get the fit that works best for you. The other tools that you're going to need in order to do any kind of pattern work, but most particularly on your Fit for Art pattern, is a little bit of pattern paper. You can use the extra paper that uh, we uh, that is around your pattern pieces if you want to save that, or uh, we recommend this uh, white paper that is very easy to use. It's strong but see-through enough to make good pattern adjustments. And we'll be using this in all of our common fitting adjustment videos. A roll of tape is essential. And if you have one that's weighted and sits well on the table, then you don't have to be holding the roll of tape while you're pulling the tape off to do the pattern work. And that actually does make things much easier as you are working on your pattern and trying to keep it flat. Of course, with any kind of sewing pattern, it's a flat pattern and it's really important as you make adjustments to keep it flat so that it lays well on your fabric, you can grain it up to the grain line and then you can end up with a great product in the end. You'll also need some rulers. Um, a very important ruler when you're doing pattern work is this 1 inch by 18 inch ruler they're clear and they have um, eighth inch uh, increments and that is just so important as you're creating your seam allowances and adding and subtracting from your from your pattern so you'll see we'll use this a lot as we make pattern adjustments a small ruler is also useful uh, here is a small clear ruler um, and many of you probably also have this little ruler with the sliding um, adjuster and this also will work you just have to make sure you use the smooth side that doesn't have any indentations in it when you're doing your pattern work. Um, this ruler is also very useful. This is a styling ruler, a fashion ruler it's sometimes called, and it has some nice curves so when you're working on a part of the pattern that needs to have a curve, you'll just use this ruler instead of the straight ruler. And I'll show you how to use this as we go through our common fitting adjustment videos. You'll also need a pencil. I prefer a regular pencil with a nice but not a super sharp point. Uh, many people prefer a mechanical pencil, but whatever kind of pencil you like best, have one right by your side as you're working. Uh, and then I also have a, a marker here, a red marker. Any colored marker, if you're trying to determine which is the line you're supposed to cut out on your pattern, if you have a contrasting color, a very thin marker, and you can draw on the line you need to cut on, that helps some people get the right pattern size cut out when the lines kind of converge and merge, as you'll see when we're working on our pattern pieces. So those are the tools that it would be useful for you to have. You'll also want to have a couple of straight pins and a flat, clean surface. Uh, a, a rubber cutting mat or a cardboard cutting mat with uh, one inch increments is a very useful tool as you're working on your patterns. 
And it's also helpful to have a little bit of a raised surface, if that's possible. This table is actually raised up with bed lifts, which you can buy in any bedding store. And that keeps you from bending over too much and hurting your back. So these are just some good tips to get you through the pattern making, get you started with your pattern work that you'll need to do in order to get your tabula rasa jacket fitting you perfectly. Thanks for watching. The next video will be about rounded back adjustments.